In this video, we're gonna talk about our recommended HDR processing software. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial and this workshop on DVD, you can use Photoshop CS6, NIK HDRFX, Photomatix, all of these three pieces of software will, for the most part, get you where you need to go, except Photoshop is gonna have some limitations. Let's talk about each of these now and why we overall chose Photomatix to be the official software for this DVD. Now we're starting from the top with Photoshop. Photoshop CS6 or the HDR processing within CS6 has come a long way since it was introduced uh, a while back, but there's still a lot of significant kind of downsides to using Photoshop. One is the overall level of control. When we're taking bracketed sequences in the Photoshop, it's true that it works well for processing a very natural looking HDR image, but it's very subtle and we don't have a lot of controls that we would in say a specific HDR processing software, such as NIK or uh, Photomatix's software. So that's kind of one problem there, but the real issue that we ran into with Photoshop was that when we were doing single shot HDRs, basically where we take a single image when we create the bracketed sequence in Lightroom or in our uh, raw processing software, take that into Photoshop, Photoshop was unable to essentially interpret or to create the HDR file when we use a single shot HDR. It would only work with bracketed sequences. And for those, it would only give you a very standard kind of natural effect and you didn't have that much control, which that's the reason why we didn't really wanna choose Photoshop for the processing of these uh, tutorials because it really doesn't fit into our overall technique that we're teaching you. And it's difficult and impossible at certain times to achieve the look that we're going for. Next, let's move on to NIK's HDR effects. And HDR effects is actually a very impressive piece of HDR processing software. In fact, it probably boasted overall the best user experience and interface of all the software that we've used. It was very simple to use, very intuitive. Uh, it looked nice, the features were great, and it didn't run into the issues that we had with Photoshop. Basically, HDR effects did a great job with bracketed sequences coming from the camera. It also did a great job with single shot HDRs that we turned into bracketed sequence in post-production. It did everything just fine. The only downside to NIK HDR effects was really just that it's kind of a double-edged sword. The simplicity basically gives you less options when it comes to really getting down and fine tuning the details of the HDR processing portion of these images. Rather than having like full sliders and full adjustments that you can drag at any point, you kind of have different notches on these sliders. So you basically move from in kind of directions of natural, more natural, most natural type things, where it's uh, uh, overly simplified a little bit. And this makes it a great beginner user interface, but for someone that wants a little bit more control and a little bit more options as far as processing their HDR photos, it doesn't give us quite the amount of variety of Photomatix, but still it's completely usable. If you prefer that experience, it is totally usable and you can get the same results that we're gonna be getting with Photomatix for the most part. Let's move on now to Photomatix, which is the software that we chose for this workshop. Now Photomatix has essentially been the standard in HDR processing for quite a while, mainly because I think they were the really the first professional grade uh, HDR processing software available. I'll be honest, the overall user interface and experience is not as sleek as NIK HDR effects, but overall we have more control. We have more sliders, we have more variation, which makes it a little bit more technically difficult but once you've mastered it, it gives you quite a few more options as far as really just getting the most from the HDR processing portion of the technique that we'll be teaching you. So if you've already selected a piece of HDR processing software, that's fine, use it. But if you haven't already selected that, go with Photomatix. We're also gonna try and chat with Photomatix, see if we can get you guys a coupon code. If so, then we'll let you guys know. We'll list it here on the video, or you can just shoot us an email uh, at contact at SR Lounge, and if there's a coupon code, we'll let you know. But hopefully we can get you guys a little discount as well. All right, let's move on to the next video.